Leah, welcome to a sneak peek of the last three months of this year for you. And I'm just giving you a little short synopsis of a much longer video that I have available elsewhere on Etsy for those of you who really value someone that takes their time and goes deep and gets details for what's coming up for you for the remainder of this year. And in this video, I get into astrology, I pull cards for October, November, December, and then we close out the reading with Oracle card advice, almost two hours long with timestamps, as you can see here. And so I'm talking about the eclipses in this astrology portion where we look at the holy shifts that are happening in your 10th and 4th houses having to do with your private life versus your public life and how you're seeking recognition but really questioning where you belong. And I think this is really critical for, you know, the next year when Jupiter is going to be moving in your ninth house, maybe giving you expansion. Because I could see in the cards, you know, there might be a little bit of unrest or inability to really settle down. Um, and, and you're doing a lot of reflecting on this. You're really spending, I think, a lot of time with spirit over these last three months trying to figure out where do I belong? Where do I go from here? And although that might not be the most pleasant thing to hear, I think spirit is using it as a catalyst or the impetus to kind of move you forward into 2023 with a clear understanding of how you want to get expansion in the new year. Now, when we get into the October cards, uh, just for the general cards, I can see that you're in a stalemate. And by the way, you know, this, this two of <laughs> swords, it comes up again in, in November. So it's almost like you're, you're stuck and maybe because you're not opening up to something, you're not making a decision. It, it does look like there was a decision made in the past, but for October, it almost seems like you're, you're just not going to do anything about it. And again, it might have to do with uh, there being so many retrogrades that we're coming out of where you feel like now's not a good time or you're a little cautious about timing. I do see you front and center here, but again, this is an energy of holding back, not making decisions. Um, and really guarded, really guarded about it. And I'm seeing that perhaps it's because you've idealized something and there needs to be a disconnect of walking away from that idealization. With your love life in October, I do see perhaps you have disconnected from someone, you know, a love interest, and you've realized you have to accept your losses and move on. Uh, and I think in the past you made a decision to heal, but again, it almost appears as though you are stuck on something that again, ideals about the way you think it needs to be, or it has to be, and I'm getting a lot of suck energy yet again. And this might be a karmic lesson. I do see a lot of karma showing up here in October of you dealing with decisions from the past that were made. And I kind of saw that show up earlier. With money, again, more stuck energy I'm seeing here. Although I see you trying to manifest something. Uh, maybe with some people that you are close to. I am seeing some friends, groups, gatherings, and maybe it's through them that you are trying to manifest um, money matters. But there is something about the give and take off here. It is somebody is giving more than they're taking or vice versa. And there is a lack of closure, uh, a lack of success. Something is still, again, from beginning to end of this reading with the money and career. It's not getting finalized it's not getting momentum although i think that you maybe are trying to manifest something it's almost like something has to be let go of now getting into november i'm seeing generally again we get that two of swords which i saw in october so there's still some kind of stalemate stuck energy not making a decision and that's at the foundation and it looks like you are trying to move on from something but again more the six of pentacles where there is an issue with somebody being in need and somebody being generous but maybe getting just barely enough to get by financially materially and i am seeing more guarded energy as well though it looks like you're kind of relaxing your guard here but disappointed about something and apprehensive some of you might be putting out applications during november or inquiring about opportunities putting messages out if this is not you putting an application, if you're in more of a hiring position or role, you might be receiving applications or people coming to talk to you about what opportunities they can have with you. And it's general, so you know it could be a number of things here. On the love front, I am seeing an energy here of, you know, just it's particularly with the feminine energy, 
pretty cold, withdrawn, some of you single, and maybe it was because, you know, there's something that the timing is off or what's being offered is not desired. I do want to caution you that there's a lot of murkiness going on in your love life. So if you're dating, just be aware of that. Secrets going on, people not really being forthcoming. And if you are in a relationship, it's almost like there's a lack of transparency and that needs to get dealt with because I see it affecting the outcome and things not quite coming together, maybe causing some misunderstandings, frustrations. And again, the give and take I keep seeing from October through November, there's an imbalance here that needs to be considered. Now, when it comes to money, November could be a time when you enter into contracts or you know, you're considering a contract. And I do see a lot of expansion could possibly happen with home, family, sense of belonging. Again, I'm seeing more feminine energy really showing up strong for you in November. Honestly, it's looking good. Like you are able to hold things down and you are working on getting expansion after maybe a difficult time frame with finances, but I think it'll go up from here. I just, you gotta be aware of some impracticality, uh, something not being grounded, not being stable and secure, but I think overall it is going to come out well, particularly if you have a friend, maybe a female friend can help you during this time to kind of ground things out. In December, it looks like you are coming together with some people in a very practical way, actually, trying to recover from any losses that have occurred. But there is this general feeling that maybe you don't, you're not in control of things. Yet I see in the undercurrent, there's a new beginning that is trying to emerge. I do want to caution you, however, that there's possibly something that you are working on with other people this month where ultimately you're not going to be able to get agreement with them on the love front it looks like you are really putting yourself out there as somebody might be doing that as well uh, really being a very forthcoming in a relationship where things in the past seemed you know out of your control and i think that what has to be dealt with from december onward is either a breakup that has happened or be in a relationship where the shadow sides of your personalities have come out. Overall, there's an, an energy here of what are you going to invest in? And I think you're looking at this getting into December. But I am seeing that possibly, again, timing issues are at play and maybe some emotional insecurities of people who are not completely emotionally available right now. Again, perhaps because of timing issues or somebody... I'm getting a misfiring, okay? <laughs> Popping off when they shouldn't, uh, that type of thing. By the end of this year, it looks like financially there could be some secrets coming out. It might have to do with a family matter, uh, might have to do with your career, yes, uh, because of the eclipses, might also have to do with generational wealth or your life purpose destiny. I feel like in the past, uh, in this past placement, you did get some kind of acknowledgement some type of accolades and if you arrive at december and you're like no that didn't happen for me i feel like a spotlight has really shown down on what it is that you idealize what you wish for and honestly i saw that like all throughout this spread of the idealism okay so you come to the end of this year probably reflecting on those ideals and how you're going to get movement with it after really doing more discerning and maybe some secrets coming out things that were hidden from you are now more obvious and apparent but i don't know that you are making any moves on it i do feel in the undercurrent you're trying to come up with a new strategy and i do feel that ultimately you're going to step out boldly in your rightful path leo the oracle advice here really seems to indicate that you have a lot of abundance of opportunities, particularly with everything going on in your 10th house right now with these eclipses, you know, and, and conversations going on, Mars and Gemini in your 11th house. I mean, beware, you know, there could be some disagreements, right? We saw that in the cards and I can see that with the astrology, disagreements having to do with people that you are collaborating with, teams that you're working within, networks of people, maybe an Aquarian, you know? But 
nevertheless, you've got a lot of opportunities here. And I do see some advice on taking care of your health, which makes sense with Saturn in your sixth house, which, you know, I talk more about in the astrology portion. So if you want to know more about that, uh, this is definitely something you want to check out over on Etsy because I see it coming up from beginning to end in this reading of eating a cleaner diet, getting healthier, getting out in nature, really decompressing and really connecting with the divine, having some alone time to really hear from spirit what it is that you need to be doing and getting to a place emotionally where you do feel safe to love in your relationships and seeing red flags in relationships, but you're uh, not, not letting them slow you down and not letting them have you hold back in your love nature. I hope that's helped y'all. And if you want more depth and detail, like I said, come over and visit me on Etsy. You could follow my shop there. I've also got Libra, Cancer, and Aquarius. I only do requested signs. By the way, I'll be taking requests for uh, the 2023 annual readings, and they will be over here for those who are interested. And of course, I've still got my video books over here on Etsy and my handcrafted sage spray. But for those of you who want to be notified of when I put this type of content out, uh, make sure that you have activated the bell for notification and so that you would get notified when I post on my community page. Because the people who have subscribed and activated the bell for notifications will get notified on my community page. They'll get messages like what you're seeing here of when I'm going live for, you know, twice a month for the free readings, right? And even when I post these full links that are available on Etsy, and I've even put a little synopsis over here, but if you're not, if you don't have the bell activated, you would not even be aware of any of this stuff. That's why I had to put a video out, by the way. So I hope that helps and looking forward to connecting with you again. Be blessed.